disappointment, noun, sadness or displeasure caused by the non-fulfillment of one's hopes or expectations, a person or event or thing that causes disappointment. If I had to use the word disappointment in a sentence, it would go something like this. Black people, this past week, you were a disappointment to myself and many others that actually give a flying fuck about this community. I told myself I would not address this again, but I'm going to do this right now. This will be the last time, the last motherfucking time I'm going to address this Popeye shit. Consider this the capping off to this Popeye chicken sandwich saga. The first time I had to address it was because people would not promote their own like black owned businesses, but they'll run out and support Popeyes. The next time I did it was showing how they uh, did $23.25 million in free advertising, which by the way, that's just the advertising. Imagine how much Popeyes as a whole made in sales, which is way higher than the advertising. But this third one right here goes right with the definition you see on the screen. Yesterday, well, actually, by the time you see this video, it'll be two days ago. But for me, it's yesterday. I heard and saw I heard a video from Harvey and the name of the video is called fighting over chicken. And I already knew what he was talking about. All I saw on his screen was a chicken sandwich from Popeye's and I listened to the commentary. It wasn't that long. I was like, okay, fine, fair enough. But it wasn't until I got to the one LVZ's video hours later where I saw visuals of what Harvey was talking about in his video. You literally had grown ass black ass people, not kids. Not even teenagers, grown so-called adults, meaning 18 years or older, hell, 21 and older for the most part, getting in fights at the goddamn Popeyes over motherfucking chicken. I just did a video about a black woman getting into it with another woman and a Chick-fil-A drive through and the woman that she got into it with was pregnant. And you have these videos popping up of people fighting at Popeye's over a goddamn chicken sandwich. The, mind you, these are recent videos. But you know what's so crazy? If you dig far enough and you type in restaurant fights or fast food fights, you will find a plethora of other videos like that occurring. I gave you an example in the one that I talked about with the Chick-fil-A incident, with the people going around the back and the guy with the spatula beating the shit out of him. This is so tacky and raunchy and everything. When I watched that video, I could not unfucking see what I saw. When I listened to Harvey's video, I could not unfucking hear what I heard. More than this being a disappointment, it's embarrassing. It's an embarrassment. Okay, you want the chicken sandwich? Fine. Go out and get the goddamn sandwich and eat the shit and stop making a whole damn spectacle over it. I got into it on Twitter a couple nights ago with some idiot because they saying I'm imposing on them having a good time. So you waiting in line for over an hour and now your peers... Getting into fights over a chicken sandwich, whether it's inside or for some case, in some cases in the drive through, that's a form of you having a good time. If you don't get the fuck out of here and then claim to have their own business, my subscribers was able to see through that shit and say that that person ain't got no damn business. And I would have to agree. Because no person who owns a business would even say something like that because you wouldn't want someone to come down to your establishment if you have one and do that with you. You would have concerns. But I think the biggest issue I have with this whole thing is that you have some people out there who will look 
at the embarrassment and the disappointment of what transpired in these last couple of weeks with this goddamn chicken sandwich and us. I'm, I'm talking to us right now. The reason why is because every video that I have seen so far where a lot of black, where a lot of people in particular have been going goo goo gaga over the chicken sandwich has been us. This is not me saying that other communities did not go out there and support it because there's no way they would have got the 23 million in every advertising just on us alone. But we are the ones that made it a fucking spectacle. This is exactly why, well, one of the reasons why so-called black Twitter was being studied. If you remember, I did a video talking about how they were studying black Twitter, quote unquote. It wasn't just the, the, to study how we talk. It was also to, to study how we move, how we interact. And now it's gone offline. And um, I saw a video that Kimberly Frazier recently did and something that she read in the article actually really stood out. This was a social experiment. If you really think about it, it was a goddamn social experiment. What do I mean by that? They're going to start with Popeyes. And before you know it, other chains are going to do the same exact thing. Not right away because they don't want it. The hype is still there. They're not going to do it right away. It's going to be down the line some. When people have forgotten about this whole chicken sandwich thing. But to be honest, the way this thing is going right now, I don't think it's that forgettable. I, th this will be two years from now and we'll still be talking about this. I wouldn't be surprised that now that Popeye's stock has gone so far up that they're probably trying to find ways to break new ground in new and um, other, like I said, you guess you could say inner city urban areas, black place, like neighborhoods to set up shop so they can get more money. But when I talk about black owned businesses like on the low end like people who need the support it barely gets any support i leave the links like whether they have a website if they have a podcast their their social media accounts and it barely gets any traction i always say how much i love talking about those businesses because they need the support they do. Popeye, like I said, Popeye's does not need a boost from us. But they got it. This is not the first ride of the rodeo, and it definitely won't be the last. You even had celebrities. You had Quavo from Migos out there selling Popeye's chicken sandwiches for a thousand dollars. Which, and I believe he, he probably sold some of them with somebody, but which means somebody out there or somebody's bought the shit. Like, like, have you no shame? Like, really, seriously, in all honesty. Like, this is absolutely crazy. I, in my 30 years of existence, have never seen anything like this before in my life now don't get me wrong i like chicken just like the next person but you ain't gonna see me all up on social media talking about how good this goddamn chicken is or going around making a boatload of videos because that's also free advertising popeyes ain't cutting you a check at least get paid for your services don't get used like a dirty tampon that's all I'm saying. And it's so funny because you'll have some people out there, and I have to throw this in here. You'll have some people out there that will say they don't like network marketing or they don't like network marketing or marketers. Well, what the fuck did you just do this past week and a half? You network market it. The only difference is you did not receive any profits. Dummy. All of it went to Popeyes and their investors and the franchisees. The only black people I will give kudos to, though, if you are a black person and you are a franchise owner of a Popeyes and people frequented it, then you, hey, I give kudos to you. I think I read in the comments somewhere where somebody was saying how a family member of theirs uh, owned a Popeyes 
and they said in just a few days they made almost two hundred thousand dollars from those damn chicken sandwiches what a good time to be alive if you position yourself we're going to see what it's looking like in those Popeye's line when this recession hits. Oh, I forgot. It's already here. We just ain't feeling the effects of it yet. We'll see how it looks then. But seriously, like, and I can't help but wonder, the people that ran out and bought this chicken sandwiches, do some of y'all even know how to cook? Do you, any of you know how to fry chicken? Because y'all can make your own chicken sandwich and you can control the ingredients the content that goes inside of that chicken sandwich at least the uh the uh the seasoning like like really many of you are went out there and went jumping for joy as if you've never had a chicken sandwich before a day in your life or even had chicken y'all act like this was the last meal you were ever going to have in life like it's crazy like i'm saying i'm not telling you to go out like say not eat the chicken sandwich hell if you want to eat the chicken sandwich go ahead and eat the shit but all the extracurriculars that shit should have never happened and be let me be honest the people who did all of that they were riding the hype train if there was no hype there behind this chicken sandwich we wouldn't even be having this discussion granted uh, i don't know if Popeyes would have made all that money, but then again, you never know. But to be honest, they probably would have because the hype factor was there and it's still there. Again, when I had to go, when I went to the gym today, I didn't have to detour, but the line was still long at that Popeyes that's right in the same vicinity as the gym I go to. Still long. As, I mean, it's it's crazy. And what's so crazy about it too is I remember... A, a couple days before the hype behind the whole chicken sandwich with Popeyes went down, I went to a Popeyes. It wasn't for myself. It wasn't for me, though. It was for somebody else. And before I even got up to the counter, as I was walking up to the counter, the cashier asked me, did I want to try the new chicken sandwich? As a matter of fact, she didn't, she didn't even ask me. She said, I bet you're here for the chicken sandwich. I was like, no. I looked at her kind of dumbfounded because I was like, when did Popeye's get a new sandwich? That was my first initial reaction. This was before the hype kicked in. I kid you not. It was about, when was it? Maybe two weeks ago? So it was right before the hype kicked in. And I was like, I, I was completely oblivious to what she was talking about. I was like, no, let me get this, that, and the third. Who would have known that what she was talking about would have blown up days later and still be in the news or social media, that is. When they get to the end of the year and talk about the top moments, this one right here will be in the top five. I will not be surprised if it's number one because they always do like a like an end of the year roundup of the best moments. In the worst moments of 2019 or the whatever year it is, this will be in the top five, mark my words, at the very least, the top 10. And it's all because people like us, as a collective, I'm including myself in it, even though I wasn't on that damn hype train, because I never saw the hype around it. I didn't. I still don't. And some people on the outside looking in will probably look at me like I'm crazy. Well, I'll let them stare. For me, it's not that deep. It's just a goddamn chicken sandwich. What's in it? Crack? What? Unicorn dust? I, what? I don't know. Because the way people are going crazy right now, you would think that it is. But I cannot get over seeing some of our own fighting grown so-called adults in the damn Popeyes over a goddamn chicken sandwich. And when I tell you fighting, you had the customers fighting with each other 
and you had the customers fighting with management you had customers fighting with the employees it like if you don't believe me go over and look at the one lvz's video sorry about that but yeah when you get a chance go over and look at the one lvz's um video that he did about this and prepare to be absolutely disgusted and disappointed because that that right there is taking it too far too goddamn far that's why there needs to be security in these fast food places for the safety of the people that the customers and the, especially the safety of the people that work there because I noticed when it comes to fat like restaurants, they don't have security. And that's any restaurant, whether it's fast food or in, or um made to order food. Like they don't have any security there. And if they are, they're most likely sitting in the parking lot. They're not actually in the store or in the side of the establishment itself. But I'm I'm done with this topic. Like 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 I said, this is the this is the grand finale of me discussing this shit. I'm over it. Y'all let me know what you think about this down in the comments. I'll talk to you in the next one.